Hi, I'm Brad McCormick and welcome to Pensbury's Educational Technology Tutorials. Today's tutorial is about, if you'd like to follow on your own, please check out the tutorial on tab scissors and tab glue or follow these simple instructions. You can watch the video and follow along with the tutorial on your own by opening up a new tab from the window that you are watching the video in type in the website that you would like to go to or the tool that you would like to go to. Let's say that this one is Kahoot. And once you have both tabs open, you can click on the one tab and drag it down. And then you can use the button in between the minimize and the close button called the restore down button, and then click and make it half of your screen. And you can do the same exact thing. You can do the between the minimize and the close button on the tab the video is in and make that half of your screen. You might have to play around with them a little bit to resize them, but now you should be able to have the video in part of your screen and then the tutorial that you're attempting to follow in the other. One of the very unique features of all Google uh, tools is that the fact that they're very collaborative and that you can share them with anyone. Uh, they don't even need to really have a Google account and they can work on documents or see things that you've created without having to email things back and forth or save them all the time. So the, one of the things that I have here is a testing doc and there's two different ways you can get to the share settings on anything that's in your drive. When you're clicked on them and highlighting them uh, up in the upper right hand corner near the trash can is a little guy with a plus sign and it says when you hover over it, share testing. So it'll share that document from there. Or when you open up that file, there is a giant blue button in the upper right hand corner that says share. And when you click on that share button, assuming that you already have your file named, if you haven't named it, it'll prompt you to name it. It'll give you the basic share option box. Uh, I suggest going to the advanced page because it gives you a lot more options. Uh, the top option is that you can copy and paste this link and give that link to anyone that you would like to have access to that file. You can also invite individual people to access this file, whether they want to edit it means they can change anything inside of that document. Comment means that they can just make suggestions for things that they would like you to change. And view just means they can only see that document. And when you click in here, it gives you the option to, when you're about to type a name, you can notify people, you can add a message that they'll get as an email as soon as you hit send. So if I just type in a name, and since we're inside the Pensbury domain, anybody that's in my contacts or in the domain that has the name that I just typed in, whether they're a student, which means they'd have an ID number, or an adult that works here, which means they have a name, has their contact right in there, and I'll just pick the person directly below, and I can hit send, and they would get access to that document. One of the other things you want to be aware of is the fact that you can change it as a whole. So this means that anyone on the web can see it. You can have anyone with the link can then see it or view it, whatever it is that you choose. And then two specific Pensbury ones are people with Pensbury with the link or just people at Pensbury. If you're going to be sending things out to parents or having parents view things, you're going to want to choose the option anyone with the link. And then down here where it says access, you're going to want can view. This way, parents don't have to have a Google, a Pensbury Google account to log in. They'll just be able to see that file. And the final thing on here is you have these last two options, which is to prevent editors from changing access and adding new people or disable options to download, print, and copy for commenters and viewers. Uh, this is a way that you can kind of lock down a file without having it spread or get changed and edit it without your approval. You can just click off those two options and then that person will only be able to see that file. They'll never actually be able to edit it or take it and make it their own. The other option that you have is you can share individual folders. So this folder also has the share in the upper right hand corner. You can also right click on that folder and get to the same share option there. What you can do is instead of having to change individual share settings on all of these different files, I can drop a file into that folder and then I can right click and I can share that entire folder. So if I wanted to have things that I was gonna put on my website that I wanted parents to be able to view, I can drop them all into one folder 
I can go into who has access and I can change it to anyone with the link can view. And then I can hit save and I can hit done. And now every single thing that's inside of this folder will have the same share settings as that folder does. This way you don't have to waste time setting the share settings on every individual folder file. You can just drop them all in one folder and set it from there.